right click on here pre-compose make sure you have these two selected and then go up here switch up time warp add it and then go to like your second beat it doesn't really matter which beat you go to and uh, press the clock the timer next to speed up here then press U on your keyboard and go a little bit in front and then like the same amount out in the back and then for this I normally do like 125 and 30 ish you can do however you want but make sure both of the background ones are the same and then just play it and see if you like that I'm just gonna do that and then over here enable motion blur you don't have to do this part I typically do though manual and then I do like 300 okay and then copy this go to the start and then make sure the middle part the middle keyframe is always aligned with the marker then you can just play that to see if you like it and if you like it you can then cut right at the last keyframe and then pre-compose this for shakes I add motion tile mirror edges uh, it doesn't matter what you do for output height and width I normally do like around 200 and then go over here add wiggle add wiggle position go to the second beat just mess around with it make sure you toggle both of these with the timer you then go like one frame in front put more keyframes down and then just go a little bit then make them zero and then also for the first two make them zero make sure you have motion blur enabled and just keep messing around with it till it looks good um and then I typically don't just use normal, uh, just the wiggle position. I also add transform. So it like has a little jump. And then just like slowly get it back to its normal spot. So I made a really fast one, so if it's too fast, just select these, hold down ALT, and it'll spread it out for you instead of manually doing that. Okay, so I'm good with this. So then copy it all, and when you paste it, make sure that the beat that's aligned is the, and then just keep pasting that throughout, and don't forget the first keyframe too. And if you play that through and you like it, you can just pre-compose, go up here, layer new, adjustment layer, cut it so it's right at the beat drop, and then delete that. Then go up here for brightness, add brightness and contrast, and then do a keyframe or the timer for brightness, and go to where you want it to end, and put another one. And then for this, just again do it as you want, and then you just copy this and the start of the adjustment layer goes on the beat and make sure 
you like that, and if you do, just pre-compose. Okay, duplicate the clip, and opacity, and just bring it somewhere, you can adjust it after, zero, we'll go back to the start, scale, timer, U, on your keyboard, then go over to the opacity keyframe, make this like, around here I guess, it doesn't really matter, then easy ease, and then just click one of those, the graph editor, and then I'm just going to do a graph like this, and it should look something like that, okay, and then select both of them and pre-compose, then you could do an invert, so layer, new adjustment layer, and then add invert, and then search up black and white, or you could color it with change to color and get rid of the black and white and then like and change the two to whatever color you want it to be and then click hue and change it to hue and saturation but i typically just do a black and white and then just cut it at the next beat And then change the color and just do what you did with the colored invert and then opacity just zoom out and you can just do whatever color you want for that and then recompose all that. Okay, add an adjustment layer. And then just wherever you want, I'm just going to do here. Search up warp. Add warp. Change arc to fisheye. Make bend zero. And press the timer. And then move your adjustment layer just so you can be flexible with your keyframes. And then make this negative 100 or close to that. It doesn't have to be exactly that. Add motion blur to the adjustment layer. Uh, and then zero. Recompose those. Make sure it's not like too close because yeah. And then do a graph like this. And then I normally do like a little recoil. So make it be positive after and then negative again. And if that's too fast, just hold down ALT. If you want like a more noticeable one, just increase the value. Just make sure it like progressively goes down to zero. Okay, and then for the intro, I'm just gonna add a fade in. Go up here, press the T, and then click on your screen, and write whatever you want. And then, you might not have these uh, windows open here, the, the paragraph, align, and character. If you don't, go up here to window, and then add align, character, and paragraph. And then, so, paragraph, that makes it so it's like centered because then it would be like that so i normally just have that and then a line that's how you get it in the middle and centered perfectly and then character is how you just adjust all of it you can add an outline so you press this thing that says px and turn that up and it might be defaulted to um like stroke overfill 
which will look weird and it'll like make it smaller. So make sure yours is fill over stroke. And then you can just adjust that to however you want it. And then up here, you can change the font. I already have imported fonts, so I'll just use one of those. For adding an outline, you do that, and then if you press this thing, the one with the open, that's how you change the color of that line, and then this solid one is the just middle part. Then if you want to say like flip them like that, just press this. And then if you want to get rid of the stroke, you can either make that zero, but there might be a tiny outline, so I recommend just doing that. And then if you want it back, you just click on it again and add the color. Cut it to where you want to start. And I'm going to add an animation for text I have right when the beat drops, so I'll just cut it there. You can add glow. You could either have it like here, but you might have to like change the glow radius a lot so it's not super crazy. Or you could just put it behind it so you don't have to change it as much. And then just mess around with it till you like it. And then you could also add drop shadow. So there's a shadow. I make it like seven and I just keep default settings. If you want like to make it look more fancy, you could have uh, add bevel alpha and then just mess around with the settings. I typically do something like this and that adds that little white line. Okay, so I added a warp here just so it will transition better. Scale. And I normally do like around 120. Just make sure it's like in the middle. And then every other beat is gonna be the zoom in. So like next one's 120 and then it's 100 again and 120. And then sometimes if it ends on 120 or like the zoomed in, or I just delete it and don't use it because I don't want it to end with it zoomed in. And then select all these, easy ease, and then go to the keyframe and make it so the little like hill, the top of the hill is right at the, aligned with the marker. And then play that through and see if you like it. You can also add rotations. And do whatever. Oh, also add motion tile. And then zero again. And easy ease that and do the same thing for the top of the hill and you don't have to do exactly what I did with the negative 12 and 12 you could do it more dramatic but you shouldn't do too dramatic for like a crazy spin because that just might look weird but if you just want softer just make it closer to zero also if you want even more motion you could do position Press U, U again, and then you could do, you should probably zoom in, so if you are doing this, just use your old uh, scale uh, markers and make sure that two of them are the same uh, value, so when you zoom in, it stays, and then I'm just going to... Like one fifty-five. Sure Same. And then, yeah, this last one, make it a hundred, and make sure this one's a hundred. Oh wait, it's not. Whatever, it's fine. And then make it go up a little bit, or you could start where it goes down, up, 
bring it back to its original. And then do the thing with the hills again. And it'll look something like this. And then once you're satisfied with how it looks, you can pre-compose. And if you did what I did with the warp, just cut it off right at the beat drop and select all these. You can hold control if you want to select certain ones and then if you want to just select them all, hold down shift and then take that out with control and pre-compose. And then I'm going to make it repeat and then I'm going to do a reverse. So right click, time, time reverse layer and then pre-compose that. And then for the ending, you can add a solid by going layer, new, solid, and then just keep it like this. And then cut it so it's only here. Gradient ramp. Swap colors. And it doesn't matter if you do linear or radial, but I'm just gonna do radial. And then could I'm just gonna pick blue since my avatar is blue. And then copy the hex code right here and paste it here and then make it like darker a darker version of it or you could just have it as black it doesn't really matter and it'll look like that okay, next i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer and then search up wiggle and add position and rotation and then also add motion tile and make sure motion tile is above everything. And then for position, I normally do like something like that. And then two, three, it doesn't really matter exactly how you do it. Just mess around with it. And then add another adjustment layer. And make sure it's above the layer with the panning. I normally go in full just so I can see how it'll look when it's exported. And then add loom tree color. Or you can just add separate colors like saturation, brightness, sharpen, all that stuff. But I'm just gonna do it with loom tree color. And then just mess around with this till it looks good in your opinion. Okay, I like it like this. And then, I normally, you don't have to do this. I normally uh, make the coloring start right when the beat drops, just so it's like a better transition. But you don't have to do that. And then, I also add another adjustment layer. Cut it at the beat drop, if you're doing what I'm doing. Add gradient ramp again. Swap colors, linear, and then go to blending mode and do overlay. It'll look something like this right now. So then you can make this less like crazy and it'll make it look like that kind of. So it makes it look nice. And then you can just end your edit off by adding a watermark. I normally don't have a outline because it'll look kind of weird. Then you just move it down to like here-ish. Well, it doesn't really matter where you put it. And then align it so it's right in the middle. And then blending mode overlay. And then I add a drop shadow. Make it like seven. And then also, since there's a fade in, you should add a black solid and make it underneath everything. So it fades in. And then for exporting, you can go file, export, add to render queue. And then just choose where you want to go and press render.